Welcome to the stream. I am now live, I guess. As usual, I'm just gonna tweet out that I'm live before we start. If I can get Twitter up, that would be great. There we go. Tweet. Well, I've just tweeted. So, as you could probably tell in the title of this stream, I'm going to be trying out iOS 10, the developer preview. I'm quite interested to see what it's like. Um, I've installed it on a iPhone 5, not my iPhone SE, because that's my main phone, and I don't want to do anything bad to my main phone since it's currently in beta, iOS 10. But anyway. Hi, here's me. I've got this little scene thing with the iPhone screen there. And that's the lock screen. You can see at the bottom, once it shows up, press home to unlock. And you've got these. I think these are your widgets or something. You've got your weather, calendar, and it just stocks there. We have to enter your passcode. I'm just gonna do that. Add widget, widget, wid, widgets. Can't see that. Can't say that right. Press home to open. There you go. And there's the home screen. And that's the new control center thingy. Looks different. Your brightness control thing. Music thing there. It's quite nice. I think there's a new keyboard sound. Let me try that out. Yeah. Keyboard sounds different. Might take a while to get used to. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Oh, nice. See those notifications there? It's quite different. Mute user, clear. If you go to the lock screen and swipe to the right, I think, you get the camera. I'm not sure about the placement of this button here where you turn the turn to the front facing camera like that might take a while to get used to but that's the little filters thingies there hey George that's video square and whatever you know the normal stuff you get in iPhones nowadays Dude, I love your voice, man. Thanks. I know, a lot of people like my voice. Because it's quite deep, I guess. Oops, wrong, wrong scene. There we go. I believe also you can delete stock apps. Let's try that. Oh yeah, look at that. You can delete, you can delete some stock apps. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. What's new in Canada? Found events. Going to leave. Location suggestions. Oh, look at that. It's in a grid view. Instead of. See there, you've got the list view on iOS 9 and below. And now you got this grid view or whatever. Looks interesting. But yeah, that's that. Clock. That yeah, looks quite different. Answer a few simple questions to set up a reoccurring wake up alarm. Cool. Oh, nice. The timer thing. Continues. 
don't really use news, use the news app to be honest. Introducing notifications. Find out about important stories from your favorite channels. I'm just gonna change the music. Not now. Get news in your inbox. Best stories selected by our editors. Let's see if that loads. Why is it not loading? Favorites. load an article. How old are you? I'm currently 16 years old. I will be 17 this year. Coming up. I'll be 17 on the 22nd of July next month. Which is cool. Home. Don't think, don't think I'll be able to demonstrate home at the moment. Music. That looks quite different. It's got a new it's got a new interface, I think. You've got your artists, albums, songs. Quite like that. See there. There's a use of bold text there. And that's Apple Music. So this is the new messages app thing. Test. That's a new notification thing. It looks quite nice. So I heard there's a there's some new things you can do with messages. I guess you can share your Apple Music well what you've recently played on Apple Music. Classic Mac. Ooh, nice. It's like old it's like the old symbols from the old Macs back in the day. See that little Happy Mac, Happy Mac thing, and that little cursor. That's quite cool. Images. Oh, these like gifs. Okay. We can sketch. Digital touch message. Hello. It's like that feature on the Apple Watch. Digital touch. It's pretty cool. Is iOS 10 really big or kind of small? When I downloaded it, when I downloaded it, it was one point something gigabytes. If you're talking about how big the download is. In terms of features, there's lots of refinements in this, which is cool. Getting so many messages, getting so many messages, getting so many messages. And that's the camera again. You can see my OBS window there. Going to eat pizza. See there? You can use the emojis. I feel happy. There you go. Because I got 
a new computer. There you go. I feel happy because I got a new computer and a new phone. That's quite that's quite interesting. Yeah, you get the idea. There's some other feature which I can't find. Let me just show you what I'm talking about, the feature I'm trying to find in iOS 10. Where is it? Here we go. Change the way your message bubbles look. Say things like happy birthday or congratulations with animations that take over the entire screen, even though it's not my birthday. Happy birthday. Let's try that. <laughs> well, that's cool. Congratulations. Smiley face. <laughs> that confetti. That's quite cool. So if I just send let's take a picture. The setup. Uh, markup. We can draw draw on it. Hello. You can add text as well. Change the colour of the text, move it around and stiff. What does that do? Oh, it's like a magnifying glass or something. That's interesting. Save. Add comment or send. Just send it. nice. If I just send an emoji. See how big they are? <laughs> Compared to something like this. You get this. Which is nice. So the floppy disk. An iPhone. And do, 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 do. And we'll just send those. There you go. And again, instead of that, you get that. In fact, I'll tweet out this. I have to use assistive, tu assistive touch on this iPhone 5 because the power button doesn't work. Neither do the volume buttons. They don't work as well. So I'll just tweet that out. Trying out some of the iOS 10 mess searching features live and then we'll put in the link youtube dot com slash my channel not on g457 slash live tweet Trying out Android there. It's cool. Anyway, that's that. Oh yeah. Just gonna try something out in music. 
And you've got these controls. It's quite nice. And yeah. Just gonna see if there's anything else. Any other features I'm missing? Let's try out Siri, but I'm just gonna pause the music for a second. How are you today? Excellent. Cool. What's the weather like in London? Here's the weather between today and the 6th of July 2016. Got a bit of rain coming up. Which isn't great, but... Yeah. Send a tweet. What would you like to say? I am tweeting this from Siri using iOS 10 on the iPhone 5. Yes. Okay, I sent your tweet. I can see it. I can see it on Tweet Deck, which is on this computer. But yeah, so I guess that's about it for iOS 10. That's the camera again. Usual options. We just do a movie recording for some reason. Test recording using iOS 10 and the iPhone 5. Okay. That's nice. So yeah, that's it for iOS 10. Quite a nice update. I think what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do some more behind the scenes stuff with iOS, not iOS 10, um, my iPhone SE review. So, let's move on to the desktop. Close this since we don't need it now. I'm going to take the SD card out of my camera. That's the SD card if you're wondering what I'm going to use. Let me just show you. And there it is. Send this 16 gig. Here we go. Open a recent item. It's kind of stuck. Oh, there we go. Here it is. That's the project. So as you can see, pretty much recorded the whole narration there. I'll just start the music again. <laughs> just to... This is the iPhone SE. And I wanted to add that this is the most powerful four inch phone ever. And big step for small. Are these quotes true? Well, that is what we're going to find out in this iPhone SE review. Let's get started, shall we? Ignore that fan noise, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, still got a lot of B-roll to put in, but I've got some in here, as you can see. I'll just 
show you them. This new 50mm f1.8 lens, which is nice, as you can see. And there is the LCD. I can rotate and stuff. But yeah, I got a new 50mm f1.8 lens yesterday. It's working quite well actually. Got some other B-roll that I took today, earlier today. I'm gonna import is it this one. Yeah, I think I'll import this one. Touch ID there. That looks quite nice. Just get through this village. Just basically showing off the touch ID and how fast it is. So I'm gonna import these two clips. I'm just gonna copy them over to my movies folder. Gonna mute the audio. But yeah, I took this one outside, showing off live photos. No, I also took this with the 50mm f1.8 lens. Nice, got that nice bokeh in the background, which is quite nice. Yeah, so I import these two. Uh, what's this? What is this? Look at that bokeh. Definitely quite nice, this lens. Possibly Team Crispy, I don't know. <laughs> it's not four. I don't have a. I don't have a four K camera. The only four K camera I have is on this iPhone SE. But I don't have a four K DSLR. That's what I meant to say. I don't have a four K DSLR, or whatever. Copying 0027.mts. My camera records in AVCHD. So that's what that file, na file name means. I'm going to take a little test photo. This microphone. I can get a nice angle on it. Let's see. 